Hi, and welcome again with Amraco Tutorials. We are doing part three of Amraco today, how to build website with Amraco. So uh, we have stopped last video building our uh, pages. So we have issue to fix, to fix this issue, as we said, we just need to fix the uh, links of each uh, CSS file or JS file or any images or anything I should have a uh, forward slash uh, so this one should be applied for everything because I uh, all, every, all the links as we, we mentioned in all pages and I finish it very fast let's save it and we're back to our uh, let me just to refresh again a new page and here we are we see everything's but not everything's I think some of the images could be in the this page here so as I said if you have any image anything's here need to be forward slash like this one here I think they have but not that many images or oh, not they are many so that's not important because this all this image will be dynamic after because we'll be send it from the back office there so just I want to show you it's very fast the solution for this one so let me just save and back again if we said uh, refresh the page so if we refresh our page I think you'll see a few images yeah that's great so not everything but we'll see a few of them uh, so we have done them about page two we can see it here if you go to info about same issue but we will not fix it that now that's not important so uh so let's say the second step what we'll do so let's go to the home page now and see what we can change a few things there or make them more dynamic so let's suppose the customer asking you to change uh, or he want add this uh, or he want to change this this text how I give him ability to change this text the body and the uh, title of this page so I can go to the home page in the settings I go document types home page so on the home page already I have something I call it settings I can add one more group I call it uh, content in this content we can say I need something I call it uh, uh, home content I will add uh, rich text okay what I can say here I can say uh, submit so if I save it so uh, after saving this one what we need to do sometimes we need to build the models sometimes no so if I back to my home page now I can see that content here so if I copy this content with the title I paste it here I say save so I need to back to this page or the page we call it home page uh, let me take something to find so this one so we have the header and we have here the body this one the body so how we can bring that out let me delete this one now how I can call that body uh, the content I have add here so I go the the top of this page here let me uh, yeah I can say var uh, home page equal model that's root okay cast it to home page to home Uh, 
I cannot cast it to home. So let me add content uh, models dot home. So after that, what I can say, what I need from the home page, I need the content uh, equal home page dot what we call that one. Uh, I think we call it home content. Let me just make sure what I call it there. Yeah, home content. Uh, if I copy this one now, just there. Where I did that one. Here. So if we, before I added it, if you back to the home page, I should see nothing here about this one. Should be this one we have removed. Oh, need to re debug, rebuild the solution. So, after we build our project and we uh, run it again, so that text is not here now. So, if I back to my Visual Studio again where we put that one we said here I just mark it yeah here so what i can say here add uh, we call it content this one so let's save again if we back to the browser we say uh, refresh it should show us that text uh, where is it yeah, that's one. See, easy, lazy, and simple. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, this one here. So, just will uh, fetch the update. So if you go to the text, I will find the text. It's different format. You can reformat again, and this one we don't need it here. Uh, we because we have already we are getting the the H two or H one coming from there. You can edit as much as you want from there because it's uh, rich text editor. Uh, as you see, it it's, will become more simpler. Every day, work more on it. I think you maybe you think it's a bit hard, but no. When we will change more and more, and you'll see when add more st dynamic stuff, you will find Ambrako. It's very simple and very easy to learn and to uh, build websites. Uh, so after we, I just I show you this one as example. How, see how, what we have done. It's just simple things. How we we uh, change this content here. We can do. Let's let me just show you one more thing. If I want to change this image here. I want the user to add image how, how they like here, which any image they like. So if I go back to the uh, back office, so I want to change this image. If I back there, here, a few seconds here, let me just see the image name. Uh, so this image. It's about image. Okay, let me copy this one. Back office here first. So I go to settings. Uh, document types. Go home. So and I can add that one under settings or under content. Let me add it uh, under content because it will be something content. So that one, I will. I need to add something. Uh, let me call it uh, home uh, uh, image. So I wanna add image uploader. How to add image uploader? Something uh, more than you. You think it's easy? Just let's call it media picker. Just add like that. This media picker, you can say it, it's mandatory or no and submit it say save so the name for that will be so we can say uh, one more things here uh, 
it, this one you should know it's single media picker so it, it will uh, take only one image so that's fine for us so if I back again to my uh, content page on the content here I go to the home page I will see now something they call it home image so as we said I need to remove this image about image and insert something in you so how to do that one uh, let me find that one first uh, it should be this one if I remove it from here that's for test or I don't need it now uh, let me just say uh, here I don't need to forget it okay if I back to my code my uh, front here refresh it so I should not display this image here So I don't have that image now here okay what I will do I think that image it should be in uh, images Ah, oh, this one okay let me copy this link and we'll go to the bag office here again we can press on this one so this is the image uploader from Ambraco so let's if you want more image uh, you can drag or drop here if you we can I think yeah so we drop that image here press on it say I select this image publish but still I cannot display that image in my code so the issue here because I have add something new or new uh, models I added already so I need to back settings I need to generate the models we need to put it off uh, rebuild and we can say here something we can say uh, var or you can write it straight away without this one I don't want to do it here so let's back to that image uh, where is it Mm, how do you say it? We'll write it here, right? Here. Yeah, here. So in this one, uh, we said home page dot. We call it uh, home image. But what I need from this one, I need the URL. URL. Uh, if I save it, let me run it and let's see what will happen there building that's nice so if you back again down we'll see the image here so let's try to change this image uh, let's try to add something in you to see is it working or no see how is it easy imagine you can build websites from scratch you can build your template and make your template dynamic your customer want to change anything he changes by himself you don't need to call you back oh change for me this one or change this one so if I back here again, uh, I want to change that image. If I see it, uh, delete this image from here. We can say add. Let me pick a new one from uh, my folder. Let's back Mr. Chef. Where he is? Let's drop it here. Uh, select this image save and publish let me back here and refresh this page and here we are with Mr. Chef easy and simple uh, so our plan it will be more to make this website more dynamic we can change all this uh, navbar to read this what we have pages only I don't need to read something static you can leave this option for the user he can add anything he want even we can play with the crosser here we can do what more uh, special recipe I don't know if they have link I don't have link uh, and yeah maybe next time we can do the menu or uh, I think we have something nice. I saw in the other page we said which page. Uh, 
Uh, why do I have nothing here? Oh, because we remove everything from that page. So even this page, we can do it too. We can do. Uh, we can. Sh I can show you how to uh, send mail through Umbraco. Um, but this page, I yeah. If we can do this page, uh, let me back to my copy uh, menu page. If you go check the menu page. So uh, we can do this one too. So our goal is to do the this both uh, pages. So in the next video, I will do the about one. I will show you how to change this one. It will be similar to uh, the home page, and we can do this stuff too. Ah, too many things to do, and we learn step by step how to do Umbraco. Uh, maybe you'll see this video is a bit hard at the at the beginning, but when you work more, you will see more. Uh, interesting stuff and you can learn more about Umbraco. Uh, see you in the next video.